Um, yeah, so we just left Oxford, now back on the Thames, heading downstream towards Abingdon. Well, I'm actually officially back in love with the Thames again. Um, when it's weathers like this, you can't can't beat it. Sun's on my face. Cool breeze. Um, no strong currents. Yeah, loving it. It was some beautiful uh, uh, properties backing onto the river. You get a taste of uh, how the other half live. This is more like it, Debbie H. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we've only got um, one. Yeah, one, one lock. more lock, Abingdon. Abingdon lock, and then we're obviously at Abingdon. Mooring up. For, yeah, for a few days. A few days. It's actually a lovely stretch of river. Really nice. And obviously the the weather's helping. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As I said earlier, I'm uh, back in love with the Thames. And you give me gale force winds and strong stream warnings, and uh, I won't, won't be. No. Yeah. Uh, we need to find a, a a nice mooring with a um, camping facility close by. Yeah, I got friends who um, were in it in an early, earlier vlog. Uh, they want to come up for my birthday weekend. I shan't say when that is because I don't want to be inundated with presents. <laughs> yeah, so the idea is if we can get moored up um, somewhere near a pub or somewhere near um, a campsite, then they can bring their motor home down and we can have a nice weekend. Yeah. Yeah, we're about half a mile from Abingdon Lock and this has been a absolutely brilliant cruise down here. Um, we left Oxford I think it was about half past ten and it's now two o'clock so by the time we get through the lock and moored up it's going to be about half two so half ten eleven twelve one two four hours and well I don't know whether I can show you that's been my speed the whole way here just short of uh, a thousand revs which is in tick over my next speed other than that is stop um, Very little prop wash. Hardly a ripple at the front. But why would you want to go any faster? You're only going to miss it all. Use more diesel. Yeah, loving it.
think I've seen the next boat that I want. in Abington just before the bridge uh, three-day restriction on here which uh, just gives everybody a fair chance to uh, come and moor here we have that side of the river which if you have dogs you're not allowed to moor because I think there's children's playgrounds and bits and pieces over there there's a junction in the channel and there's a pub on an island called the Nags Head so I'll be paying that visit later yeah, so just there we've got the crown and thistle and just over there we've got the broad face. Yeah, just behind me we've got the nags head which goes out onto this lovely island. You can see the beer garden stretches right out there. I think a few pints that would be uh, asking for trouble. Yeah, absolutely beautiful setting. Loads of seating area. I might have to try and find a right nice pint. Now I did promise Deb that uh, I wouldn't sneak off for a pint without her, so I'm going to go go back and get her, and then we're going to go into the beer garden behind us. And uh... right here at the Nags Head in Abington, and I've come across, and I've I've got it written on Deb's phone because I haven't come across this one before. It's the Loose Cannon Brewery, and this is their beer Abington Abington Bridge. Uh, you couldn't get more local than that. It's 4.1%, and it's it says here it's a fantastic session ale. Covers lots of bases for a wide range of people, making it a popular choice for parties. So, um, well, we'll we'll push. I missed out the floral and slightly sweet finish. <laughs> Right. Now, according to the write-up, this brings a smile to the face of its drinkers due to its delicious floral and slightly sweet finish. So, um, let's test this out. Uh, borderline a ruby red ale. Uh, it's not a pale or a, an amber ale. It smells nice. That is nice. There, now I didn't think I was going to enjoy this one, but that is a right nice pint. Cheers, guys. Where are we? We're at the furthest end <laughs> of the outside of the Nags Head on a, in Abington. On a windy, cold. Uh, Cold windy day, yeah. I just come out here so I won't be disappointed. And recently I've spent a uh, fortune on new outdoor microphones and a uh, big furry dead cat stick on the end to stop all of the wind noise. Now, what did I leave on the boat? The boat that's over there? Yeah, which you have to walk all the way around to. He yeah, left so I, them all I, I on left the boat. all my new microphones on the boat, so this is probably going to be uh, a little bit windy and breezy. Did you mm. brush your hair? Did I brush? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a breezy overcast day, but what you've got to try and imagine is what this uh, place would be like. Uh, there's the pub right back there uh, on a balmy summer's evening. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, 
and ho hopefully we'll get to uh, come back here on one of those types of evenings and there is my boat just back there right that's a little while since I've done uh, the other side I've just quickly washed this side I don't know whether this is going to pick up just how dull this paintwork is but yeah, going to go along here and do the same as I'd done last time uh, with the Auto Glim products. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up doing this twice, but you can see already um, just the shine on that compared to the matte finish there. There's the line where I've got up to. Well, that's just give it a quick once over, but already you can see a deep shine on there so I shall just go over that one more time. <laughs> 